All right, back again, Luke here. And today, as you guys can see in front of you, this is a, uh, a circuit board that goes to a uh, PC Engine Turbo Dual. And for this particular board here, what we're going to be doing is doing some recapping. Uh, we'll remove all these old capacitors on here and put some new ones on. It looks like uh, someone has already taken the, uh, the liberty of kind of starting things off. These legs here are a little bit long, so what I'll do is probably trim those down and uh, put those back uh, a little bit closer to the board. But uh, yeah, we're going to recap recap the whole board here and uh, get this thing all ready to go so uh, it'll be able to last for a little bit longer. So what we'll do is probably start over here in this area and then we'll slowly work our way around here. This basically controls most of the, uh, the CD unit itself and around here controls the PC engine uh, section uh, for the regular HU cards. And then this one is our sound area. So let's jump on that and uh, start desoldering this stuff. All right, so as you guys can see here, uh, I'm in the process of trying to remove these uh, caps just one at a time. And uh, a lot of these have a lot of uh, electrolyte fluid on them, so uh, it's kind of difficult to get these things uh, to pry out. They just, can you hear that sizzling? That's the, uh, the fluid there. It really, really smells bad too. But um, very challenging to try and get these things out. These things are already leaking quite a bit. You guys can even see it and see the steam coming off there for the ones that uh, don't <clears throat> have leaky caps they're a little bit easier to uh, to get off here but um, these ones are definitely challenging try and add a little bit of uh, solder down there to try and free this up now, these caps will get really hot so you got to be careful as well but yeah that's not uh, not coming off so easily so let's see what we can do here is Maybe, uh, maybe I'll have to try and uh, use a pair of pliers to, uh, to kind of get this thing out. But uh, definitely uh, not so easy trying to get these guys out here. You can probably see on this one as well. I'm going to try and clean the tip off on this. But uh, you guys can probably see right here. This one as well is just not, uh, not coming up. Oh, there we go. That one's come up. You can see the pads there. Uh, there's still there's a little bit of uh, leaky residue. You can hear that sizzling. This uh, this cap here has been leaking. As far as uh, how long, I'm not sure, but uh, you guys can see for yourself here. There's a, a little bit of liquid on the bottom there. That is uh, from the leaky cap. So we're gonna have to try and clean up that area down there, and uh, get some players here so we can slightly. Uh, hold on to this while we uh, go over it with the soldering pen but uh, yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a uh, time-consuming process here considering these ones aren't gonna come up very easily but nonetheless we'll see what we can do we'll be back in a few all right so as you guys can see here we're still only on the third cap but you guys can see the uh, the acid leakage that was the one that we were trying to get off there this thing's been leaking for quite some time on there so this is going to be a little bit challenging it makes me wonder exactly how many of these things are uh, leaking underneath but you can see where um, it's actually discolored some of the uh, mask around here the solder mask but nonetheless that's not a broken trace so it shouldn't be a big problem it's just going to take a little bit of time here to uh, get these guys off and uh, get some new stuff on there but We'll make sure we do that and uh, clean these things up and this, is, this thing should be good to go in a matter of a few hours. So we'll be back in a few hours. Alright, so as you guys can see here, I've scraped away a little bit of the uh, solder mask and you can see how the acid has uh, affected some of the trace here. It's still uh, solid, but uh, what I'm going to do is try and you know shine this up a little bit and add some more uh, solder around here to the side here. Just because I don't want it to lose continuity with this section here and uh, we'll get that going right now try and patch that up and then get the uh, new capacitor in there but figured I'd show, show you guys that uh, sometimes there are some hidden uh, problems located underneath the solder mask you got to be kind of careful so let's jump on that all right so as you can see here uh, we've kind of made this a little bit stronger over here on the side and put uh, some more uh, solder around there this one here uh, I'm not sure exactly I can't remember depending on the case but it might have to be bent down just a little bit in order for uh, this to fit inside the case 
piece, so that's why that one's bent down. We've got these two uh, 22 microfarad capacitors here in this 100, or these three 100s uh, replaced. Now what we're doing is working on the uh, ones over here. Now when you start to get inside the corners here, you'll notice it's going to be a little bit tricky to try and get in here without melting this uh, block right here. So where, uh, where this cable goes, what we're going to do is try and see about... Uh, desoldering one side and then we'll try and rock the other side here so uh, we don't wind up melting anything too much. Let's give that a shot. <clears throat> Let's see if we can uh, point the old camera down here to give a better better view of what's going on here. So what we're gonna do is just get one side here and you can see that one's uh, broke free right now. Now, without a lot of pressure, what we're going to do is really just try to uh, gently rock this one out. Kind of rocking it back and forth here, just slowly. And it shouldn't take much. These uh, 22s uh, don't have a lot of pad here. Kind of hard to keep a, a grip on it though. You can see I'm uh, kind of uh, just trying to rock this thing out. Not not pushing down on it too hard, but just uh, trying to get it out of there. So you can see there. There is our, uh, our pad there, and it's still intact. You can see it's uh, over there. If, at, uh, if by any chance this thing did break, you could uh, patch that leg into this area here. But uh, when we go to put the new capacitor in, what we're going to do is try and solder this leg first, and then we'll try and put this one down next. So we'll, uh, we'll get on that and uh, get this thing done here. We'll just uh, you know solder it in like this, and then we'll push the other side down and solder that in. So we'll be back in a few. All right, so as you guys can see there, there is our uh, capacitor that's all in there. And there's no melting on these two connectors here, which is really good. And the key to really getting these things in there is to, uh, like I said, go for the inside leg first and then uh, solder the outside leg. And if you'll notice here on the... Uh, the pads here, you'll notice I had mentioned this in another video, but when you remove the old capacitor, there's not enough solder on there to really stick the new capacitor on. So what you really have to do is you have to add some more solder. So what we'll do here is we'll, uh, we'll add a little bit of solder and uh, hopefully try and do this without the camera tilting and tipping over. We're going to put some solder on uh, each one of these pads here. It doesn't take much. All you have to do is just add a little bit. You can see there's a little ball there now. And by having that uh, ball on there, that will give you a lot of extra solder to uh, work with here when you go to put your other capacitor on. Now this is a really, really bad angle here, but we'll try and make sure that you always have your positive and your negative uh, connected the right way. And you want to go with the inside leg first, so this one here is going to be a little bit tricky to get in there. But, uh, it's your inside leg. Your outside leg. I'm actually soldering this uh, from underneath the camera, so I might have to go back over this and redo it a little bit, but and we'll get that on there. And uh, there we go. So we've got the, uh, the second one in there. And uh, once again, no melting, no burning of the pads. Um, it's just uh, it's gone in there really nice and smoothly so the key also is to make sure that you get these things as close as possible to the same height you don't want to have different heights uh, try and cut them as low as you can while being able to get your soldering pen in there that will really make life a lot easier when you go to put these things back together and uh, you'll be able to find that uh, the, th the things will close up a lot easier if you leave the legs too long uh, like for example this is a really bad example but if you have the legs like this long right you're gonna have to do a lot of twisting and bending around so try and keep them as short as you can while uh, trying to maintain uh, that uh, ability to get your soldering pen in there because if they're too short it's going to be really hard to uh, get them soldered in there but we'll uh, we'll work our way around the board here and uh, continue as we go along and uh, hopefully get this thing done sometime soon here <laughs> be back in a few
All right, we're just uh, plugging along here, but I uh, figured I'd uh, make a little note, and that is once you guys start getting into the uh, sound area, like where the sound amp and everything is around in this section, this is where you got to be a little bit more careful. You don't want to really pull on these uh, caps. You really want to make sure that you try and desolder them from both sides. This is where a lot of the traces will easily come lifting up. Uh, luckily for these, they still are intact. There's no big problems so far, but uh, this is where a lot of the, uh, the leakage will actually be pretty uh, intense around this area here. Also around the, uh, the volume dial, you'll find normally you'll find a lot of rust and you'll find a lot of uh, kind of um, leakage around here so just be careful when you're working on this section uh, you can see there's a lot of leakage going on here but uh, we'll clean that up none of these pads are lifted but we'll uh, we'll clean this up here just a, a little side note I figured I'd throw in there but uh, we're coming along we got a, a little bit more to do and uh, this board will be done so let's try and finish this up here Alright, so now we're working in the sound amplifier area, and what you'll see with uh, these caps here is there's a lot of different variation in, uh, in capacitors here. And what I recommend when you go to uh, do this area here, write down all the values, uh, or else print out uh, a sheet online so you know all of the values and the location. And the way you want to do this is you want to remove, for example, let's remove one whole row here. And then uh, once you remove all of these, then when you go to put the new ones in, you'll start from the back and work forward now I've already uh, replaced this one here just because it's easy you can uh, just easily remove it from the bottom here but uh, these two are surface mount so I'm gonna remove this one here I'll remove this one as well and then when I go to uh, put it back together I'm gonna put uh, the middle one in first and then I'll put this one in last it'll make it a lot easier if you try and work your way in the middle and then in the back and then forward you'll uh, you wind up kind of melting these things and maybe not getting a good contact so when you go to remove them remove them uh, from the front back and then when you go to put the new ones in put them in from the back forward so that's what we'll do here we'll try and uh, shorten these legs on these ones as well make this all nice and tidy here and then uh, yeah this thing should be good to go so let's jump on that Alright, so uh, as I'm going along here, I found a little bit of a snag here. Uh, this is uh, hot glue that's uh, around one of these um, capacitors here. And uh, the pads have actually been lifted up, so the hot glue is the only thing that's keeping them down. So, not, uh, not so great on this section here. So what I'm going to have to do is kind of carefully remove this hot glue that's around here. And... Uh, Make sure that uh, these traces are still intact, as those are very, very thin traces. Yeah. What I'm going to have to do is put, you know, once I get everything done here, I'll put hot glue over the uh, the top of everything. But, um, yeah, this is uh, that's a little uh, difficult there. We'll, uh, we'll go over it and check for continuity, no problem. But, yeah, let's... Uh, that's a little tricky part in there. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting that, but nonetheless, we'll get on this and uh, try and get the rest of this all taken care of in here. Be back in a few. All right, guys, so here we have it. About 55 caps later, this guy is all uh, put back together and ready for some gaming. As you can see around here, we've changed out all the caps. Tried to keep them uh, pretty close to the same height, so we don't have any, uh, you know, really big differences. Like I said, I put this one here on an angle, just because I don't want it to uh, be affected by the light area. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a, a casing that goes around the light, so uh, if not, you know, this thing can always be bent back. But um, yeah, we have all these in here, including this small one back here. This is a 3.3. That one's uh, really important to replace. We've got uh, all our other ones around here around the sound section and uh, in the back here so everything is uh, yeah really really looking nice looks like uh, straight from the factory <laughs> So what I'm going to do here for the last part is I'm going to go around with some of these that are really close to each other. I'm going to try and put a, a bit of hot glue, and especially in this section here, I don't want any of these capacitors to break loose. And some of the pads, unfortunately, due to uh, corrosion and uh, excessive heat, have lifted off. And uh, I don't want them to break free, so the capacitors that are close to each other, I'll put a little drop of glue and um, hot glue. That should keep them 
kind of nice and together and shouldn't have to worry about them breaking apart here. So we'll do that as the last final uh, final part for this, but uh, yeah, it's basically done here. So let's put on the final touches here and get this uh, get this finished. All right, and there we have it. There are the final touches put on here. Like I had mentioned, I, uh, I put a little bit of hot glue in here in between uh, these ones that are really close, especially in the sound area here. Some people might be asking, well, why would you do that? You know, isn't it going to make it more difficult to get these things out if they have to be replaced again? And honestly, the answer is no. If you take a look at the bottom here, this isn't uh, touching any of the, uh, the pads on the bottom. It's just helping to keep the uh, capacitors in place. If you remember in the back here there were a couple of pads that were lifted and I just don't want these capacitors to be moving around and uh, accidentally break free from the uh, board itself especially since this board is gonna have to be shipped back so um, I, I really want to make sure that these stay stable uh, for the most part you know I'm not gonna go around and try and do every single one of them because obviously if I do I'm gonna have to put them on the board and when I do that uh, there may be a bit of a difficulty trying to remove them if they ever have to be removed again but uh, for some of the other ones like I said, if they're too, if they're close enough, I want to try and keep the spacing. I don't want them to be bent and moving around and uh, shifting around on me. And this will also keep the pads from lifting or breaking free on the bottom. There's nothing I can really do about this top part here except really protect the uh, the top here with uh, maybe a bit of cardboard. And I'll put some cardboard on the bottom and rewrap it on both sides uh, before I ship to uh, ship it out. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm very pleased with the way it came out. Looks very nice. And uh, it should last and be ready to do some gaming for uh, quite a few years to come. So, just thought I would share these repairs here on the old Turbo Duo with you guys. And uh, yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.